This is video one of a four video series of our free 17 move introductory course. This video covers move one, opening of Tai Chi, move two, left grass bird's tail, and move three, grass bird's tail. It also includes the transitions of holding the ball. Awareness Tai Chi, move one opening of Tai Chi. Begin with feet parallel, hands rise, hands press down, pivot on the right heel, pivot on the left toe, arms extend, relax the weight into the front foot. When the right foot pivots on the heel, followed by the left foot pivoting on the toe, this gives you a 45 degree angle step. So you've got one foot on either side of an imaginary line with one foot pointing straight ahead and the back foot pointing off to a 45 degree angle. When this happens then the weight will relax into the front foot and the knee does not extend past the toe. The back leg will be straight and that will give you a straight line from heel to head. So once again, the arms come up, and as they come down, just as they get to the bottom, you pivot one foot, then the other, and then the arms extend. So you can see that the arms are extending, the right arm is extended along the line of the right foot, the left arm is extending and pressing downward, in flight, slightly in front of the body, with the arm rotated so the fingertips are rotated in towards the center line of the body. Again you can see the straight line from the heel to the head and the body is turned to the 90 degrees to match up facing over the front toe. So here is a different view. Again you can see the arms coming up and down and then the rotation so the arm is extending as you turn and then you relax the weight into the front foot. And again you can see that as soon as you start to pivot, the arms come up, turn, and the body turns 90 degrees to line up over that front foot. Awareness Tai Chi, move to left grass bird's tail. This move begins with hold the ball, Hold the ball is a transition move from one move to another and in this particular case from the opening of Tai Chi to left grass bird's tail. Stand up, hold the ball, arms come together, relax the weight, left corner step, left grass bird's tail. In hold the ball, the left arm comes up from underneath and turns palm up. The right hand turns palm down. They come together and cross in front of the chest in a rounded sort of fashion. The arms and shoulders are relaxed. Do not try and lift the arms up with the shoulders, but push up with the leg to stand up. So as you stand up, the left arm comes up, meets the right arm in front of the chest, and then you're going to step out to a 45 degree angle and the arms expand. In the 45 degree angle step you're going to keep the weight balanced in the right leg, relax the weight down and step out towards the left corner. You're going to step at 45 degree angle from that right foot. And that will give you your 45 degree angle step that we use in pretty much all the moves. So as you relax your weight with the hold the ball, you relax your weight in the right leg, the 45 degree angle step, and then the body transfers forward as the arms expand out. After you take the step into left grass bird's tail, the left arm expands out, comes up to chest height and pushes away with the back of the arm and the back of the wrist as though you're pushing something away with the back of your arm. The right hand presses down along the side of the body and has an equal and opposite expression between the arms and the weight relaxes into the front leg. And here's another angle view, so the 45 degree angle step and then the arms express out equally. So 
So here you can see the body angle stays with the right foot and then as the body transfers the weight, the body turns. Awareness Tai Chi, move three, grasp bird's tail. This move is preceded once again by hold the ball, which is a transition move. Grass bird's tail has three parts. There are three pushes to grass bird's tail, finger under the wrist, a wrist push, and then a two-handed push. This is move three. This is hold the ball and grass bird's tail. Grass bird's tail has three parts, finger under the wrist push, you move back, then there's the wrist push, you move back again with the palms forward, and then two-handed push. As you stand up into the left leg, you'll do hold the ball. This is the same as in the previous hold the ball, except it's on the opposite side. This time the right arm comes up to meet the left arm. So the arms will cross in front, the right hand is underneath, palm up, the left arm is on top, palm down. Then you relax the weight into the left leg again, and you will step forward with the right leg, forming that same 45 degree step. So now your left leg is at the 45, and the right leg is stepping straight ahead with the grass bird tail step. Here again, holding the ball, and now the step in a straight line forward, and you transfer the weight forward with the first push of Grassbird's tail. And you shift the weight back, the weight pushes again forward, and you shift the weight back. So just a gentle sitting action into the back leg, and then a sitting action into the front leg. The first push, as the arms come forward and the weight transfers into the front leg, the left fingers line up under the right wrist. The right hand is palm towards you. The left hand is palm away from you. So it makes sort of the figure T in front of you and you push out about the height of your chest. Then you shift the weight back. And as the weight relaxes into the back leg, the left arm pulls back with the elbow down and the right hand stays forward extended. You'll then shift the weight forward and the second push this time is pushing on the right wrist. So the left hand is pushing forward and it pushes on the right wrist with the right palm towards you. And then again you shift the weight back into the back leg. This time both elbows drop, the palms are forward and the arms are slightly ahead of the body. The weight relaxes in the back so that when you push off of the back leg to push forward for the third push, both palms travel forward, the arms extend, and they stay level with the ground, about shoulder width apart, and with the elbows and shoulders relax. So do not push with the shoulders, you push with the leg and let the arms extend. Once again, this is hold the ball, the right step. And this is the first push, finger under the wrist, left arm comes back, right arm forward, then the wrist push, and then you come back again, and then the two-handed push. So you'll notice that throughout all three of these pushes, you have the same straight line from heel to head, with the weight relaxing and balancing into the front leg with the forward extension. Do not let the body bend forward. Don't overextend with the push. Just extend the arms out until you feel the weight relaxing into the front leg. Here is another view. So here is the right step. Finger under the wrist push. Left arm comes back. Right arm stays forward. Relax into the leg. Push forward. This time the wrist push, come back, the elbows drop, the palms are forward, and then a two-handed push. 
And one more view is from the 45 degree angle step of left grassbird's tail going into grassbird's tail. So you can see the body angles to the 45 degrees and then squares to the front over the front foot. And again, turns and angles to the 45 degrees and then squares to the front foot. Is opening of Tai Chi, hands rise, press down, pivot on the right foot, pivot on the left toe, up and hold the ball. Left step for left grass bird's tail, up and hold the ball. Right step, finger under the wrist push. Left arm comes back, right arm forward, wrist push. Come back, elbows down, and two-handed push.